Okay, Nathan Swakowski here again from Fairline Ministries, Fairline Worship, my beautiful wife behind the iPhone this evening. Just uh, here for a two-minute testimony, wanted to share uh, very quickly about uh, one of my treasure hunts that I did in Nicaragua. So I just got back from this trip with Karis Bible College, Arizona, and it was amazing. I could go on and on, but for the sake of the two minutes, let me tell you about the last thing I had on my list for this treasure hunt, I put El Rojo dash, it will be obvious. It means the red, it will be obvious. So, you know, this wasn't a part of the mission trip per se. It was just, we kind of had an off day at the market and I felt like God said, you know, I don't want this to end just because it's an off day. And I don't want it to end when you go back to America. I want you to love on my people. I, I died for everyone, whether they're born again yet or not, it's available to them and I love everyone. That just really touched my heart. So I wrote down these certain things and that last thing I wrote down was El Rojo, it'll be obvious. So fast forward to the market. I was in the market with two of my leaders, Pastor Douglas Rosman and his wife, Ileana, and we were just going from little shop to shop. And we got to this shop and they were looking in the display case and I always had my phone out taking pictures. And I was about to take a picture and my whole screen was kind of filled with red. I thought that's kind of odd and I looked and it was uh, the shopkeeper's t-shirt and Pastor Douglas's t-shirt I thought maybe this is it and so you know I thought okay well I really feel like this is the Holy Spirit let's see what else happens because he said it'll be obvious and the lady turned around and she had red lipstick on and I said well that's pretty obvious not a lot of women here wear lipstick it's you know kind of pricey and I just didn't see it that much while I was there so uh, we keep kind of doing a little bit of shopping in different display cases and we were kind of rounding to where we we're about to pay and I said, como se llama or uh, Pastor Douglas or somebody said, ah, what's your name? And she turned around and I think I asked actually and she said, Scarlet. And I was like, no way, this is God. And I was like, her name is Scarlet. Just like it said, it will be obvious. And so remember, I was just praying in tongues and I saw a bunch of different stuff when I was praying in tongues. I just thought I'd jot them down on notes. I've been reading a lot of different books about this. And so I just trusted the Holy Spirit's gonna lead me to these clues. And if he doesn't, he doesn't, but I'm gonna write it down. So I saw, I saw the two red t-shirts in my camera lens and then her lipstick was red and then her name means red, Scarlet. And I looked around, I had a red bag in my hand, Ileana had a red shirt with polka dots on it. I said, this is totally God. So at the very end, I explained to her what we were doing and how God singled her out to me while I was on the bus and then I even wrote it down and she immediately started crying. And just the power of God's love touched her. And so we prayed for her and it was powerful. We got connected on Facebook. She has my wife's email. It's just the most amazing thing how God can highlight somebody to you. So, these are starting to happen more and more. It's, you know, just really commonplace that God will single people out to us as we do treasure hunts. But the thing that really blew me away is that Messiah is about a 40, 45 minute drive with traffic back to where we were staying in Managua. And later that very same night, two of our leaders, one being Ileana, who was in the workshop, went to the kind of Americanized mall right by our hostel and guess who they ran into? Yes, they ran into Scarlet. Of all people, of all the millions of people in that area, in Managua to Messiah and, and how far it is, what are the chances they would run back into her? So God was definitely singling this lady out. He reaches us one by one. He wants to reach you one by one. He's reaching the desires of our hearts. And you know, I know this is more than two minutes, but I just wanted to share how amazing this testimony was and how we all have the ability to hear from God and just have him single people out to us. And you know, if we miss it, we miss it. But if we can bless somebody and edify them, love them and build them up, then we've done the gospel just doing that. So thank you for listening.